have to break every part off of it. Okay. Well, I mean, the chain blades rework was a year ago, so. You see these? These are the gill sacks. So if you hit those... Okay, I got the horn. I'll break all the obvious parts first. I think we got one of the gill hides. I'm just having to be very, very cautious of what I'm actually hitting. Because I don't want to accidentally kill it. Okay, now all that should be left is the gill hides. So now that everything's broken, I should be able to get the gill hides if I just keep dodging. And the problem is I don't know exactly where they're located. Oh, it seems like it's close to the face somewhere. Okay, there's another gill hide. It's a bit hard to hit it right. So yeah. Even if you even if you see it. Hitting it. Oh, it's it's here. Okay. There, there's one. And then there's this one more left. Ah, okay, I know the spot already. Now that I know the spot, it's easy enough. Got it. That should be all four gill huts. Okay, let's test. Anything? Okay, Tempest is not showing me anything, so... Yep, no more. Because there's no more unbroken parts. Okay, we did everything. Now we kill. Now we kill la kill. Oh no, I'm dead. As if it matters. Now uh, let's make this go faster. I'm lazy. Potions! Oh no, 50% danger! Ah, it's dead. Yep, and I got the 200 Pathfinder coins. Challenge now completed. Alright. That's how you do it. Dismantled Spore Struck Chalrog. Challenge completed. Now, I'm sure you guys want the build, so I'll go through and don't worry. I'll post this video after as well. Let's head back to Ramsgate, and I'll show you how it is done. Alright. The build is very simple. No, um, it's easy to replicate, dude. Uh... It's easy to replicate, just build just build the build that I'm about to give you. It's 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 not difficult, I promise you. All you got cause like the head, the legs and all is easy to do, right? Then you just dodge and you use your tempest to break the gills. That's it. Once the gills are broken, you just kill it. So I guarantee you you can replicate it. It's it's genuinely not difficult. Um okay, so I'm gonna remove my cam and my overlay. So you guys can see it. Alright. The Volcanic Eruptions is the Torgadoro um, repeaters. 
Blade Storm Cell, Evasive Fury. You want Evasive Fury for more attack speed. Tempest here, okay. Koshai's Bloom, Molten Cell. Molten Cell for more attack speed. Thunder Deep's Capacitor for Sharpened, and you put a Recycle Cell for raw damage so that you can actually kill this thing eventually. Shell of the Swarm, Recycle Cell. Hellplate Bracers, Sharpened Cell. And Thrax's Gal for Cunning. It's just an extra, like if you don't want this, you can throw something else in, but I just threw Cunning in for extra kill potential. Alright, in terms of your mods and specials, you want your Marksman Chamber, Captain's Grip, and Precision Sights mod. This will help you tremendously, okay? Please, please use that. Um, and then, of course, the bond is the ember main sh ember shots, all right, for the extra part damage, you know. And what this will give you is six blade storm and six sharpen. This is the key to the build because this is all part damage. So it'll help you deal the extra part damage you need to break everything on it. Cunning is just for extra kill potential. Same with recycle. Uh, this is to help you actually kill the behemoth once you're done. Evasive fury is for the extra attack speed. Like I mentioned, molten is the same thing, all right. You build this build, you'll be able to break all the parts on the Sports Truck Child Rock with ease. Alright, and that's all it takes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Keep supporting, guys. And this was filmed in front of a live studio audience. Thank you guys for watching me do this. Get you on the next one, okay? Oh, and uh, don't forget to get a membership, donate, and support with Super Chats if you want to see me make more content. Okay? Arigatou ne!